Hello viewers, my name is Baraka Karama, reporting for Metropolis TV here in Kenya. In this part of the world, staying young and beautiful is highly regarded. But you may not believe it, there are some old men and women who use cow dung to dye their white hair. Today, we'll focus on a 62-year-old man who uses cow dung and mixes it with dye to dye his white hair. <laughs> In most towns in Kenya, majority of people, both young and old, prefer to maintain their beauty and great look at all times. Many people have their different ways of maintaining their beauty so as to always look young and attractive. Some use the modern methods such as use of cosmetics, eating fruits, and going to the barber shop. But in the rural areas where the poverty level is high, many men and women who have attained 30 years and above tend to look like they are in their late 70s. Because of that, some old men have devised unique methods of beautifying themselves in order to always look smart, young, and attractive. And as a result of that, animals such as cows have turned to be useful. Not because of their value in meat, but because of this, cow dung. <coughs> this cow dung is dried and then mixed with dye before it's applied on the head to get rid of the gray hair. 62-year-old Aji Hussein is one such old man who has decided to maintain his young look by dyeing his gray hair with a brown color mixed with cow dung. Now over 61 years of age, according to the way you see my hair and I'm man maintaining myself, I use uh, what is called hina mixed with a, a bit of cow dung so that it can be strong. I've used this uh, for about five good years now. The way you see me and my face and my hair, I'm keeping myself physically fit and smart. You see, I started growing the white hair when I was about 45, 52, 53, 54, 55. Yeah, the first picture you see in front of the camera, I took it in 1989, which is about how many years now? If you see this face and you see my face now, it is a very, very small, a very little difference between this one and the second. Show me, show me. Yes. And, and the second one you see here, this was in 1992. I took it with my friend, you see there, he's now the late, yeah, 1992. Yeah. The way you are seeing it, most of the people that use Hinas, they use it, you cannot know exactly whether this is an old person or a young person. But according to the, the age, you might see it from the face, but not from the air. So for me, the way you see, I've used it for now from uh, when I was over 55 to 61 now, that is about five years. How do you feel? You, 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 you use a bit of cow dung, the dry one, eh? and this is also a dry stuff. When you mix it with the hot water, eh? there is no smell. And then when you apply it on your, your head, there is nothing that you, you feel. Because, you know, these are grass. And the, 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 the henna is leaves. So it is not like uh, human flesh. This is, these are both 
grass and leaves. I'm now leaving my home. I stay in Manyata Gonda. This is my residence. I'm now leaving my place to go and get the stuff. This is where we always come and buy this hina from and then when we reach home you use some hot water a bit of uh, cow dung to mix it up and then you apply it to your air and to your cheek it takes about one to one and a half hours when you wash it your color will be the, the color of the the what the air changes it takes about two three four good weeks when it is still remain the same yeah the the, the, the cow dung you don't uh, put it too much because it's very strong and then I preserve it at home I get this stuff from the neighboring man who has so many cows so after making it dried and grain it to the portion of the hina this is the first step you start with this you see is enough for the whole layer and then now this is where you add the the hina itself inside with the hot water then you start using it yeah now this is from first step to the second one we first take this one to another container and then you bring the hina itself you pour it when it is still dry the way you see it there you see that portion is enough because my hair have uh, cut it very short this one alone is enough for the hair and the, the beard so now we are going to pour in hot water and then we start uh, using it my uh, i always so what does the what does the brown color eh? the brown color will come after you have mixed it yeah you you wait when we have poured some water here then you see the color changing yeah when now you put it on on the head after washing automatically you will find the colors change to the air that you have okay yes yeah, so and bring the, the hot water this is always done by by my wife who always put it to my head and my beard so you can see now mixing have you seen the the, the color changing if you see the color in the in this small container on the on this other side of it you see yeah you see the brown now you have seen it has changed to to a brown color have you seen it yeah, you, see, you can see it there now this is now ready to be used on the head and the beard to where you want to, to to use it you can now use it you either use your hand or you use the brush to to, to let it be very uh, when, when, when the stuff is being put on the air because it has been used with uh, some hot water you feel a bit heavy because of the stuff and then uh, after which when it is dry you find that uh, your head is strong together but you will get fresh air after you have washed it strong about one hour now I want to remove the stuff from my head and after this one you will see how the color has changed
Leta mafuta yangu kama nani. I sought the views of different people over this method. When you are growing old, you are growing old. You won't grow young again. When you are 50 years like me, I'm 53. You can't, I can't come back to 18 years or 20 years. Because by dying my hair, I can't come back to that age. That. And changing the color of my hair. No, I don't like that. Yeah. It's quite disgusting. And I just go with my age. I don't change the color of my hair. I let it be because as now it's coming. It's, there are white, a bit of white in it. But I see the design of white and black is very nice for me. So I just change the style of plating, leaving it all the time naturally. It's natural. The day it's only to add a new look. Those who have white hair and all that, okay, they go for the black, the easy black, such kind of products, of which it doesn't cause any any harm. It's only that they want to look good and young. And what matters to them? That is nature. When it is white, it's nice. You see? And when it's black, it will also look nice. Exercise to make uh, myself fit all the time. I also want to look like this when I'm 40 or 50. I'd really love to look like that. So I'll work so hard to keep myself looking young. And to those old men and women with white hair, this is a trick. Just use this cow dung, mix it with dye to get rid of your white hair. With that, we urge you to keep on watching Metropolis TV.